Hello, and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called How to Prepare for the Coming Anarchy in the Streets. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell uh, so you can be notified every time we upload a new story. I'd also like to tell you about hollywoodiscalling.com. It's a great service that allows you to purchase live phone calls from more than 100 celebrities at prices starting out at just $19.95. So give it a try. It's a great gift for yourself or for somebody you care about. Hollywoodiscalling.com. Now, let's get started. A growing number of Americans are preparing for what they believe will be an unprecedented and an almost immeasurable increase in street crime. Already, they are seeing a dramatic increase in random street murders, random street shootings, random assaults, all sorts of violence being caught on surveillance videos and being shown on social media. What's so concerning to people now is that there appears to be no rhyme or reason or purpose to any of the, to many of the shootings, the murders, the assaults. It, it's not like they're any part of any uh, uh, criminal um, a plan or intent or motive. They're not robbing people. They're not snatching purses. It appears to be, quite frankly, it appears to be being done for recreational purposes. And also, it appears to be being done so people can post videos of themselves killing somebody on social media. Now, uh, these criminals appear to be shooting random strangers as easily and as casually uh, as they would if they were just pointing their fingers at them. Only they're pointing their guns and shooting them without hesitation. There's, there's, there's no consideration, there's no pause, there's no conscience coming into play. It's just thoughtless behavior. Now, if you doubt any of this, just go on social media and do a search for street shootings or street killings or street murders or surveillance tape of murders, and you'll be shocked at how many videos pop up. You could literally spend an entire weekend watching these videos and never run out of more videos to watch. It is, it's a tsunami of violence that's overtaking uh, the largest cities. Another problem is that they're shooting women and children just as easily and as casually uh, as they're shooting grown men. So how can you prepare yourself for this and how can you defend yourself and the ones that you love? Well, if you live in a city we believe that your first priority should be to move yourself and your family out of the city. If you live in a major city with a high crime rate, uh, then we suggest that you and your family move out now and get as far away as possible, even if it means a significant reduction in the quality or standard of your life. You, if you have to move into a house that's half the size or a third the size of the one you had in the, in, you know, in the city, so be it. Better that than to be killed by some random moron for no reason at all. If you can't afford to move, then I would recommend that you carry something to protect yourself in case you're attacked. Whatever you carry, make certain you can carry it legally and that you have a license to carry it if one is required by your jurisdiction. If you drive a high profile car or an exotic or expensive name brand car, we recommend that you stop driving it immediately and get yourself a used Toyota or American car or some, some conventional low profile used car so that you're not being targeted by criminals who just assume there's a lot more to steal because you have uh, an upscale premium car. Now, in some cities, driving an expensive car on the roads is enough to get your windows shut out or yourself killed. That's all it takes. The wrong name brand. That's where this is all headed. And that is the truth of it. The next thing you should do is to start listening to your instincts. If your instincts tell you the person or people approaching you are off or something is wrong, then cross the street and go join a, a random group of pedestrians who look like they might be safe to walk with. 
walking in groups is always better uh, than walking alone. Whenever you leave the house or go somewhere, you should always do so with someone else. That will help reduce your target profile and make it much less likely that you'll be attacked or victimized. The next thing you should do is to get to know your neighbors and personally set up a neighborhood watch on your streets so that you can look out for each other. You know, put in some rules where you can all look out on the street, where you can all watch the cars coming and going. Do that because it will make a difference. Something else you should do, and that is to alter your behavior so that you are constantly demonstrating an elevated level of situational awareness bordering on paranoia. You know what? Forget bordering on paranoia. I want you to be as paranoid as they come. I want you to look like a paranoid lunatic so that some criminal may assume you're too crazy to attack. You might pose a threat to them. That's what I want you to do. Always keep your head on a swivel and always assume that someone approaching you is doing so with ill will, and then you should behave accordingly. We believe that gone are the days when you could just politely assume that the people walking towards you always have your best interests at, you know, at heart. The next thing you have to do is stop using your phone or texting while walking. Anytime you're looking at your phone, instead of looking at what's going on around you, then you are attracting the attention of predators who will notice that immediately and they will prey upon you. The last thing and the most important thing you should do is to keep trying to raise enough money over time so that you can afford to move out of the city as quickly as possible. We believe that some of the major cities and urban areas are already looking like dystopian kill zones and are, and are on their way to becoming something even far worse. What do you mean by far worse? Well, uh, we predict that many of these cities will eventually start rationing their police services to only the most violent crimes. And in some cities, it's just the opposite. In some cities, city, uh, the police, uh, they're not responding to the violent crimes. They're only responding to the safest, low threat crimes. We believe that that's because so many communities have eliminated the immunity, the, the granting of immunity, legal immunity to their police officers, uh, the immunity which protects them from uh, uh, lawsuits, that these guys simply don't want to get sued three, four times a week by every moron they arrest. The financial risk of being bankrupted by a new lawsuit every, uh, every week that your city will not help you defend is simply too great. So with that, I want to thank you for watching. I want to tell you that we're gonna have more great celebrity interviews and more breaking news stories coming up in the future. So we encourage you to subscribe to our free channel and click on the notification bell so you can be notified every time we post a new story. Thank you for watching and we shall see you soon. Bye-bye.